ஹை திஸ் இஸ் பி ஆர் சுந்தர் வெல்கம் டு போஸ்ட் மார்க்கெட் ரிப்போர்ட் ஸ்பான்சர்ட் பை டெல்டா டாட் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் அண்ட் டுடே த குளோபல் கியூஸ் வேர் கோட் எஸ்டர்டே யூஎஸ் இன்ஃப்ளேஷன் டேட்டா வாஸ் கோட் எஸ்டர்டே ஃபார் த ஃபிஃப்த் ஸ்ட்ரைட் டே நாஸ்டாக் வாஸ் ஆப் ஏஷியன் மார்க்கெட்ஸ் வேர் ஆல் ஆப் பட் டெஸ்பைட் தேட் த ப்ரீ மார்க்கெட் ஷோட் எ லிட்டில் பீட் ஹையர் பட் ஆஸ் ஒன் ஆஸ் த மார்க்கெட் ஓப்பன் ஸ்டார்டட் செல்லிங் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபேக்ட் ஃபார் த லாஸ்ட் மெனி டேஸ் தட் ஹேஸ் பீன் த ட்ரெண்ட் just within 5 to 10 minutes the selling starts and today the selling was so severe that nifty broke 17800 once again and nifty went to very close to yesterday's low but then came the short covering and in fact today i just posted in my tweet saying that all is well with the global market but indian market is dull but once it went to very close to yesterday's low then probably the domestic institutions must have come in to buy and then market steadily moved in one direction upward and nifty shot up more than 250 points from intraday low in between there was about 50 60 point fall and that was also bought in again the high was taken out but towards the end of the day uh, there was some fall of course that is expected because the us markets have shot up already four five trading sessions continuously i always say from monday to thursday market is down and friday at least towards the end of the day there will be some kind of a shock covering so that's what has happened today in our market the same thing opposite may happen in us market because from monday to thursday so us markets moved continuously higher and definitely today there may be some profit booking and traders will not like to carry positions home over the weekend and not only that for us markets monday is a holiday so because of that this time the weekend is 3 days weekend so people will like to book some profit and you know i am expecting market to go down slightly but who knows because over a longer period of time especially nasdaq is oversold so short covering can take anywhere but at least there will be at least one intraday dip but the futures are already indicating some down tick so by looking at the morning price action so it's very clear that uh, fa is uh, continue to sell so at the end of the day so they have sold about 2500 crores worth of shares today and this is uh, really puzzling not only selling in 2023 while fias are buying in most other markets and only indian markets are singled out for punishment and they are just keep on selling 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 so we do not know how long it will take for the selling to subside but as of now there are no signs so their selling should come down to at least 200 300 crore like that for a few days you know at least sometime they must stop but every day they are selling 2000 to 2500 crore you know by the time you know another one week then the expectation of budget budget volatility will kick in so people very close to budget nobody want to make big investment so they will want to wait for the clarity in the budget especially this budget there are a lot of negative rumors going around you know the government may be tinkering with the long term capital gain tax and so on so people will not like to do it in fact uh, i do have a lot of uh, long term options which i'm planning to exit few days before the budget and after the budget maybe i can re enter and if any tinkering with the long term capital gain tax you know it's going to have a severe impact in markets stock specific you know uh, today it was a broad based buying in all the sectors from the days low hdfc and hdfc bank were responsible for the morning weakness both were down significantly but then when the short covering came so those two stocks shot up that is why you know nifty shot up more than 250 point from intraday low especially people know will not like to short further as there is a result tomorrow for hdfc bank so the bank nifty has shot up nearly 500 point from intraday low so there was a significant amount of short covering in those spaces and also the best performing sector for the last few days is metals so all the metal stocks have been doing very well so definitely the stock that will be on focus on monday will be 
HDFC Bank because we will be coming out with the results. So more of that we will discuss during uh, the last week ahead program on Sunday after the results are out. So we will we shall wait until then. European markets were you know in green slightly but US futures were down slightly but US futures is expected you know that's because you know that market was up for more than four days. And looking at the open interest I think people are still taking 17,900, 18,000 short straddle. I think they are not expecting any big move for the next two weeks. Also, there is one public holiday. You know, we have how many more trading sessions? About eight, eight more trading sessions or nine trading sessions. So they, they are not expecting any big damaka. Uh, Nifty is expected to trade between 17,600 on the downside to 18,400 on the upside if you go by the option premium. Option premiums are also low, not very high. So IT uh, space is over, all the actions and reactions. Today morning I said, you know, many times in the past, Infosys result has turned around the market. So today Infosys result, though market was down in the morning and after some time uh, there was a significant recovery both in Infosys and TCS. Let us hope that this uh, turns around the market. At least, you know, my expectation is that, you know, yesterday's low should not be broken if everything goes well. So in that case, you know, it will be somewhere between 17,800 to 18,400 will be the range. Metal stocks definitely in focus. Banking stocks will be in focus from next week. Hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.